Hello, I'm Paul Mauerman, Director of Sandia Mountain Natural History Center, and welcome to another one of our quick trips. Today we're in the San Pedro Parks Wilderness Area near Cuba, New Mexico, and we're going to be talking about wilderness navigation. So stay tuned. It's important to have some skills and some knowledge about each of the three methods. So let's break them down and talk about them individually. If you're trying to navigate by purely natural means, then you must be a very experienced woodsman or a little bit crazy. But there are a few things that can help you. Looking around, we see that there are uh, a whole bunch of, of fir trees, and I see some aspen trees. That tells me I'm probably about 9,000 feet above sea level. There's a stream here. We know that streams usually run downhill into bigger streams. That would help you navigate. If you look at the terrain around you, I'm kind of at the bottom of a valley. Usually, the side with less trees is going to be the south side. The side with more trees is going to be the north side. The sun is going to be a great navigational tool. We know the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So those are just a few natural things. A few others to keep in mind if it's dark, the north star, if you get really more experienced, other stars can help you navigate. There's all types of clues out in nature that can help us navigate. Even though I am an experienced outdoorsman, I don't like to rely on the natural world to help my navigation for two reasons. One, I'm not that good at it. And secondly, it's not totally, completely accurate and precise to keep you on course. It's more of a general guide. So what we're going to talk about now is map and compass. So the first thing you need to do to use your map is to orient it. Every map is going to have one of these, which is going to help you orient your map. So you have to set your compass up to be pointing north with red in the shed and then you're going to put it on that line and our map is lined up. Now we have our map oriented to the landscape around us. So when trying to figure out where you are, it's good to know a couple things. For example, where you've been. We started here at San Gregorio parking lot. We hiked up this trail. We know we've already passed uh, the San Gregorio Reservoir. And we also have passed this junction. We have not passed this junction. So I know that I'm in between uh, these two trail junctions. Now the map itself is gonna help you figure out a few things too. These lines, all these brown lines, are called contour lines, and they represent uh, the terrain around you. Each line is, represents 40 feet on this map of elevation gain or loss. So this trail here comes through a fairly steep uh, little canyon. I know I've already emerged from that canyon, and as I look uh, off to my sort of north there, 
I can see the slope is, is getting more gradual. So we are basically right about here. If I had no idea at all where I was, I would have to find two points on the map, shoot a, use my compass to shoot an azimuth to those areas and figure out where I was. For example, if we climbed to the top of this hill and we were able to see this little peak and this uh, kind of, there's probably a cliff here that comes out a little mesa here. If we could see both of those, we could use our compass to shoot an azimuth to that point and to that point and where those two lines came back and intersected right here is where we would be. Shooting an azimuth is easy once you get the hang of it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look through your compass. In this case, we are lining up on that tree and we are gonna line uh, the little sight at the top here up on that tree and then using the mirror we're going to turn this bezel until the north arrow is what we call red in the shed okay we're going to put the north the arrow that always points north we're going to turn this bezel until that arrow is in the shed so once we have red in the shed we can then look at our compass and our bearing is about 327 degrees. Now obviously that's a very quick little lesson on using a map and compass. If you really want to learn, I would suggest watching some more videos on YouTube, going out and buying some books, taking some time and practicing. It's a skill that is a lot of fun to learn, but does take some time. GPS makes navigating in the backcountry real easy. Here we have our map. Here's where we are. And we're heading back towards the reservoir. Uh, it doesn't just give you map though, map and direction. That triangle is actually pointing in the direction that the GPS is. So that makes it easy for you. But we could also just put it on a uh, compass mode and that tells us that we have a straight shot of 1.93 miles back um, it tells us our speed and the time it expects expects us to be there all right there's also some other uh, fun functions this one tells us so far we've hiked uh, 3.4 miles we're 9,000 feet above uh, sea level and you can see that this has been a fairly uh, steep hike so far so a GPS is great for helping you navigate uh, as long as you don't run out of batteries or you bring extra batteries or it doesn't malfunction in some way your phone can also be used as a GPS using several different apps you just have to shop around and figure out which one's best for you Hope you learned something today, and I hope you're inspired to go out and have some fun in nature.